components required for this procedure include forceps, here we're using the Kelmans, the sensor cartridge, the sapphire unfolder, viscoelastic, and the IOL and dispenser. Firstly, the cartridge is held between the thumb and the index finger. This allows you to have control over the cartridge wings during the loading procedure. Viscoelastic is applied in the cartridge throat along both troughs and a small amount where we will be placing the lens. The lens dispenser is opened and using forceps the lens is removed and placed on the lint free label. Orientate the lens and pick up as shown. Notice how the forceps hold the lens towards the edge of the optic rather than the centre. This holding position will assist you in loading. Again, holding the cartridge between the thumb and index finger, tilt the wings up to provide a cavity for the lens to enter. Present the lens so that it slides into the cavity with the optic edges under the ridge of the cartridge. The orientation and final position of the lens can be confirmed by referencing with the silhouette on the cartridge wing. Apply downward pressure with polished forceps whilst closing the wings. This ensures that the lens folds in a concave manner. The leading haptic enters the throat as the wings are closing. After the cartridge wings are closed, the leading haptic points in a downward arc and the trailing haptic is pointing down and extends out the back of the cartridge. Holding the cartridge by the top of the wings, insert into the slot of the sapphire unfolder as shown, taking care not to pinch the trailing haptic. Also ensure that the trailing haptic lies outside the slot. If the haptic lies in the slot after inserting, you can easily flick it out using the closed forceps. The loading procedure is completed by pushing the rod and engaging the thread a quarter turn clockwise. Verify that the leading and trailing haptics are visible and not damaged. We are now ready to implant the sensor IOL.